Alright guys, welcome back to another video of King Exotics. Come to you guys with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to fix Infected and Call of Duty World War 2 and honestly make it more fun and enjoyable to actually play. Now we got this huge brand new Undead update which is pretty awesome. It pretty much just kind of has a huge zombie theme if you cannot tell. Plus, I'm actually kind of happy this update came out because it brought a lot of cool weapons. I ended up buying the PTRS. If you guys do want to watch that video on it, you definitely can. And there's also a bunch of other weapons like the Nambo 2, which is like some type of SMG, which is pretty awesome. I mean, it's really, really good. I wish I actually would have bought that weapon. They also have the lever action, a bunch of different weapons in the game. But I want to talk about Infected and five reasons to, or five reasons on how to fix Infected within this game. Because Infected, if you guys don't know, Pretty much there's one player who gets infected from the match countdown and pretty much they have to run around and try and kill all the players who are not infected and that's pretty much how you win the game. Well, in this game, if you guys don't know, infected has been around in pretty much a lot of Call of Duties have been around since MW3. That was the first time it ever came, so MW3, you also have COD Ghost, you have Infinite Warfare, it ended up coming back in Black Ops 3, and also... Crazy enough, it was actually an advanced warfare, and for some odd reason, Sledgehammer Games could not have just copy and pasted it, but apparently they didn't, which honestly kind of sucks, because AW actually had one of the best infected in my opinion, but they just decided to actually kind of rearrange it and not make it as great, I don't know exactly, but for one, my reason number one, add more maps, like add more playable maps, I have put at least two hours of infected literally in yesterday, because I was completing challenges, there was this thing where you get like an undead bribe for playing over like 20 matches of infected, and then I was just completing the double, like the two weapon bribe or something, like the true heroic weapon bribe or something, which you had to play over 100 matches, and I'm honestly like super close to actually finishing that one, so I may just play a bunch of infected later on today as well, but the maps that you can play on, there's actually like four maps that you can't play on. Now you can't play on Shipment, Aachen, St. Marie Dumont, and London Docks. Now, I may just have super terrible luck to the point where I just haven't gotten able to actually play those maps. Maybe every single map in the game is actually playable and the drop rate or the probability of actually playing on them is just super low. I have no idea, but like I said, I put over two hours of Infected. I'm pretty sure I think I should have played a lot of these maps knowing that the Infected matches are actually super quick and they only last like two to three minutes. So you would think I would have got a lot of matches in yesterday. In that whole two hour span to actually have played pretty much every map in the game. Which clearly wasn't the case because you can't play infected on those certain maps. Now if that would actually get changed and be able to play on all maps that would be pretty awesome. I'd actually be hyped about that because it gives you more variety to actually play in different maps. Now the next one is add more weapons because back in MW3, Ghost, AW, Infinite Warfare, you guys were able to actually have different weapon classes to actually use. Literally the only two weapons you're given is literally the Type 100 and the Combat Shotgun. Your primary is a Type 100, as you guys can see in this gameplay, and your secondary is the Combat Shotgun. Don't get me wrong, the two weapons are cool and all, but at least add some more weapons. Give it more, like, replayability because it kind of gets boring after a while using the same exact weapon over and over and over again for three minute matches every single time. It'd be pretty awesome if they would actually add more weapons. Maybe even add just the bar or FG42. Add all these weapons into the game. I mean, it would help a lot. It would actually make this more fun because you'd have different loadouts to actually use. And to be honest, using this shotgun's kind of OP if you go against these people and infected. Which is a reason that I actually want to talk about. Reason number three being giving the infected a throwing knife. Okay, we've had it throwing knife pretty much in a lot of Call of Duties back in the day. Some people like it, some people don't like an infected. But for World War II, can we at least get a, getting a throwing knife? Because it's kind of unfair at times when a lot of the times, as you guys can see in this match, literally it is 10 to 1. Now, a lot of these matches will actually end pretty much with only one person being infected or the one person who was infected ends up leaving and another person gets infected and then it never ends. It's just completely three minutes or two minutes of you just sitting there pretty much not killing nobody because the person who's infected cannot kill you. Everybody in this game literally camps in the back of a map or if you go on Gibraltar, it's literally on the second story towards like the left side of the map. There's like this little hideout area almost that goes back to one of the flags in Domination. 
everybody just sits in a window and pretty much just waits and everyone just camps or in point do hawk they pretty much just sit at the end of the map or kind of towards this little bunker area that i'm at and everybody just camps out the entire match which it's kind of op when you have like 10 people shooting you with a combat shotgun and a type 100 which it would help if they would add a throwing knife because i mean it would really help out a lot it would actually make these matches a little bit quicker more smooth and actually probably more fun because you'll actually be able to infect somebody because you guys will get a lot of unlucky games where you become infected and you can't kill nobody because everybody is bunched up with a bunch of mines on the ground and then a bunch of shotguns just aiming right at your head that's literally how infected all is in this entire game which like i said if it gives it a throwing knife it'll actually give the person a, a chance to actually infect somebody which is pretty awesome i mean it would also stop people from doing glitches as well because if you're in a glitch you can't really kill them now you could just say that just honestly give the first person who's infected a throwing knife just to infect somebody and then you can go back to just using the axe or whatever melee weapon you're actually using so that could be a possibility as well but the fourth and or the fourth reason is first infected gets a weapon now some of you guys may or may not like that idea but like going back to this hole where only one person gets infected and then the game literally never le or never ends because somebody just doesn't get infected well it would help if the first person would be given like i don't know a pistol or something to actually infest the second person and then you'll be able to just keep going around your match using a melee weapon or whatever like i said a lot of the people just literally sit there and camp in the back of the map with like 10 people sitting there mowing you down so i mean let's be honest though if you guys are the first infected if you guys have played infected you guys will realize once you're the first infected and usually everybody's aiming at each other waiting to see who's infected from the countdown everyone usually gets their head blown off with a shotgun in the first two seconds of you being infected like you don't even have time to literally pull out your axe or even pull down your tactical insertion which is like a zombie head because the first person literally shoots you right in the head with a shotgun and it would be better if they would just give you a weapon just to infect the very second person and just continue with the match with the melee weapon now the fifth one which kind of caters towards the whole if the person who's infected just honestly sucks and cannot infect somebody can we at least get the ability now this is going to be very innovative because we've never had this in infected before but select a second infected if there's a certain amount of time like let's be honest if there's like 10 20 maybe 30 seconds left of the match and this person just getting killed over and over and over again can we at least in sec like have another countdown that infects a second person just to continue the match because i mean it can't hurt it it would just honestly make it better because it's kind of dumb to end up getting into a match the match lasts two minutes and literally only one person was infected the entire match and goes oh and like 25 like that's kind of boring honestly or the person goes literally oh and zero and just camps the entire match because he knows he's not going to kill nobody camping so that's just my five things to actually fix infected like i said infected is really awesome it's actually really fun but with those five reasons on how to fix infected could make it a lot better and i'm super hyped to actually see if they'll actually listen i'm actually going to at sledgehammer games in the title if you guys do want to send it to them on twitter share the video that would help out a lot and hopefully they'll be able to see this or something i mean they're probably not but you never know but if you guys did like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, put on post notifications so you guys don't miss another video. I'm on my road to trying to hit 3,000 subscribers, which if we get to hit that during the summer, that would be awesome. And yeah, guys, I'm out. Peace.